Kia ora koutou, kō dia ho, hanamai. Welcome to today's virtual maker space. We've got a small brain teaser activity for you to start. Add the numbers on the right hand side of the triangles together and then multiply by the bottom left hand corner. 4 plus 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. 5 plus 2 is 7 times 3 is 21 and 5 plus 2 is 7 times 6 is 42. Okay so welcome back. For today's activity we are making a dough erupting volcano. If you've been uh, joining us for our Makerspace classes during lockdown, you'll know that we made a lemon erupting volcano. This is a little bit similar in terms of the eruption, but for this one, we are actually going to make the volcano. So we're going to make a dough, and there are a couple of things that you will need for that. You'll need some plain flour. We're going to use uh, two cups and make a smaller volcano. Just going to put that in the mixing bowl. Now we are going to be using the oven today, so um, it's a good idea if you have adult supervision. And this recipe does require quite some time in the oven, so perhaps something to start early in the afternoon. To that, we're going to add half a cup of salt. Now that's quite a lot, and that's going to take a lot of time to come out of here as well. Give that a stir. And then we're going to add some water. Now, we need about three quarters of a cup, but we're not going to add it all at the one time, simply because we might not need all of it. So we'll just add it a little bit at a time and give it a stir. Okay, let's keep on mixing away there because my uh, dough is actually still quite dry and we certainly haven't used the three we've used more than the three quarters of a cup of water. I hope you can see that. As with most doughs, and if you're making bread or something like that. You'll find that sometimes you need to add more flour and sometimes you need to add more water just depending on what happens. So I'm actually just going to give that a bit of a mix with my hand because we don't want it to be too wet and we don't want it to be too dry either. I'm going to add a little bit more water there because I want to be able to knead it and shape it. the doughs coming together. This does make a little bit of a mess, but we can always clean it up later. I'm just turning it out onto the bench. Give it a bit of a knead so it comes together. Alright, so we're going to get a tray now. I've got a tray and some baking paper. And I have turned the oven on just to about 120 degrees. Because with, with this, it will um, just cook relatively slowly. We just really want it to harden. So what we want to do is obviously we want to make our vo volcano shape. You can make whatever shape you like, of course. <laughs> we just need to make sure that it's got sides. And importantly, that it has what is called a crater, because it's a volcano, a crater inside. Then you can pop it in the oven, make sure it's not interrupting dinner. And 
and then you can probably have your eruption taking place sometime after tea. Okay, so we'll carefully lift that off. Pop it onto our baking tray and into the oven, probably at least for an hour, but do keep an eye on it. We just want it to be hard. So our volcano has cooled down. I've given it a little bit of paint to try and make it look a little bit more authentic. It is time to test our volcano and hopefully the mess won't go everywhere. Now apologies to our supervising adults. We've made a small volcano. We're going to make a small amount, hopefully, of lava. So we're going to add our bicarb soda. So remember we've used that before. Tip that in. And then we're going to add a squirt of dishwashing liquid. Get some help with the food colouring. A touch of we've got appropriately coloured food colouring, which is red. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And then with a bit of luck. Once we add our secret other ingredient, and we've done reactions like this before, haven't we? With bicarb soda and vinegar. Again, it creates another one of those chemical reactions and produces carbon dioxide, which results in our frothing. So let's see how we go, and hopefully we don't make too much of a mess. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Take a look inside our crater there. Looks quite realistic, doesn't it? Well, I hope you had some fun with that today, everyone. I certainly do. Thanks for joining me.